Hi everyone, Gwil from Fologram here. In this tutorial, we're gonna cover installing Fologram for Rhino and Grasshopper, troubleshooting a few common issues, installing Fologram on your mobile device or HoloLens, and attaching that device to your new Fologram account so that you can access a trial and start viewing some models in mixed reality. To install and download the Fologram for Rhino and Grasshopper plugin, you can head to fologram.com slash download and then choose the download for your platform of Rhino. This is a free installation. You can install this on any uh, PC or Mac that is going to be running Rhino and um, streaming models. So I'm gonna download and install it for Rhino 8 on Windows. And then we can go ahead and click on that installer to launch the installation wizard. When you're prompted, choose to install just for me this will install in um, your own user folder on a device and it'll mean that the installation will work for shared devices like university lab computers and things like that. So you can hit next and install the plugin. Make sure you've closed any open instances of Rhino before you do the installation or if you did install it while Rhino was open, make sure you close all of them after you install it and restart Rhino to make sure that plugin is detected correctly. Now, a common issue with installing Fologram, if you have older versions of the plugin already installed, is you might find that um, there are conflicts. Uh, plugin ID is already in use, or you're unable to load the plugin uh, when you open Rhino. If you run into any of these issues, you can head to docs.fologram.com, click on Fologram for Rhino, and we've got little guides to addressing them here. Essentially, all you want to do is find any existing installations of Fologram, uninstall those by deleting them, and then you can reinstall the latest version um, to address that issue. You also want to make sure that you are running the latest service release of Rhino before you do so. Okay, so that'll install the plugin for Rhino and Grasshopper. Now we wanna get Fologram on the mixed reality device that we're gonna be using to view models. If you want to install Fologram for your HoloLens, you can search for HoloLens, uh, for Fologram, sorry, in the Windows Store on your HoloLens device, uh, or you can click this link here to display, um, or to just load the page uh, directly. If you're installing on uh, an iOS device or Android device, you can uh, download the app through the app stores. So I've got uh, my mobile just streaming over here. I'm gonna search for Fologram on Google Play. We're using Android for this demo, and then we can just click install. So Fologram spelled F-O-L-O-G-R-A-M. That's gonna go ahead and install the app. Uh, once you've installed the app, uh, if you launch that app, you'll be prompted to sign in. Um, so we're gonna need a Fologram account to sign into. You can create one just by tapping the sign in button. It's gonna launch a web browser and um, take you to uh, Fologram, uh, like app.fologram.com to your dashboard page where you can create one. I'm gonna show you that process on the big screen. Let's log out of the account I've got here. So if you visit app.fologram.com um, or if you're already on fologram.com slash download, you can just click this dashboard button here. That's gonna take you to app.fologram.com. There'll be a bunch of options for signing in slash creating an account. Uh, you can sign in using your existing Google account, Apple account, Microsoft account, or sign in with just email and password if you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with uh, Google. I'll sign in with my Fologram email address. And if we don't, uh, if there isn't already an account associated with your email address, we'll create one for you. Creating an account is free, doesn't cost you anything, um, and you'll need an account to access a 14-day trial. After you've created uh, the account and signed in, you can click on the account button here, um, and then we'll have our um, attached device UI, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, so, uh, when you launch Fologram on your, on your phone, so I'm just click open now, It's gonna ask for a few permissions. You need to make sure that you grant all of these since Fologram is an AR app, it needs access to your, um, to your camera and microphone. And then there'll just be a big sign in button. Uh, this app looks a bit funny on my um, 
like virtual desktop software here, but um, on your phone, you'll have a, a similar sign in button. When you click sign in, it's going to open app.phologram.com and you'll just sign in uh, using the, uh, the same email or service provider that you um, use to create the account. I'm going to click sign in. I'm already actually signed in. I have cookies uh, on my mobile device. And so it's just going to load that sign in page and uh, grab that token and sign in. Um, if you haven't already signed in on your mobile phone, which will be the case most of the time, if you're using Phologram for the first time, you'll just have to um, uh, repeat that sign in process on your, your mobile device. So now we've got um, a prompt here to scan a Q connection QR code to join a session. Um, what we're going to do before we actually scan a connection QR code for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, close this window because we can't stream the, the next section of the tutorial video. What we're going to want to do is attach our mobile device to our account. So on a, um, uh, there's two ways to do this. You can either sign in on your mobile device and um, click the attach button. Uh, or on a laptop PC, like I've got here, we can click attach device. That's going to display a QR code that you can scan with your mobile phone. Uh, once you scan it, um, it'll launch Phologram and just associate this device with your account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We can't stream it just because we can't stream the, um, the QR code detection. The other thing you can do is if you scan this QR code um, while Phologram is already running, um, you will get prompted to pair uh, the account with your device. So let's just see if that'll work with the streaming. Yeah, so there we go. We can see we can pair account. I can click on that and that's going to then go ahead and um, uh, attach the device to our account. So we can click OK. All right, so our device is now attached. Um, we're not going to see anything too exciting yet because um, it'll show up in this list after we actually make our first connection to Phologram. So we've gone through installing Phologram on mobile and on uh, Ferrano and Grasshopper, creating an account, attaching our account, uh, accepting permissions for our device and troubleshooting common installation issues. So up next, we'll view a model.